Hi. Hi. I'm Max, knitwear designer and co-owner of Les Garçons. And lately, I have to admit, I'm totally obsessed with Cher's new album. The Christmas one, it's so good. It's oh. horrible, but it's so good at the same time. Who? Sure. Ho! Wagon wheel on Juicy. What? What? That's from Burlesque. Hi, I'm Vincent. I am a yarn dyer, also co-owner of Les Garçons. And you should have done, I'm Vincent. Oh, you have the hair for it. <laughs> yes, but no, I'm not <laughs> obsessed. Um, yeah, and let's just say that I'm not obsessed. With, <laughs> you know, that's going to be my thing. <laughs> but you agreed that when we bought the vinyl, the, the vinyl, you agreed to that purchase. No. You did. No. You didn't try to stop me. Well, that's that's you... what I call agreeing. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so what are we drinking today? Um, it's ooh, purple. It's purple. We're drinking um, what is called a Nempress 75. It's a twist on the French 75. I think we had French 75 at some point. I don't know. I know we're French, but, but uh, we're not like I, I think at the beginning, like one of them maybe um write in the comment if we had fresh 75 if you know all the episodes by heart and then you will win something uh first one yeah i don't know uh, so french 75 but with uh empress 1805 is that the 18 75 no no the number is not the oh same. yeah that's true 1805 um so it's a it's a empress gin let's call it like that it's an indigo gin it's blue when you put acid into it it becomes kind of pinkish um and then yeah the rest of the ingredients are the same prosecco or well it's supposed to be champagne no 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 when... but today it's prosecco yep. uh and then gin and then sugar and then lemon so that's what we're having Cheers. Cheers. What's new? What's new with you? With us, actually, because... Oh, my God. Well, it's the last time we'll have that background. Because... You might have seen it over the internet this past week, but we have a big announcement. It was two weeks ago already. The time two weeks. Oh my god! So okay. Fast. Yeah, two weeks ago we announced that we're opening a brick and mortar shop. We really look not that excited. We are. It's just. But we we are yes. These renovation show they are lying to you. It doesn't take just like thirty minutes and they're done. It's. No. It's been a long project coming. We started this summer and we're still not finished yet. It's December. Yes. Well, even before this summer, I think we made the first plans, the first design plans in January or something like that. I know that last year in January, when I went to VKL, I said, I. We, you told me you can go, but just don't say to everyone that we're opening a yarn store because we, we don't know exactly when. And then we just had suppers with friends and everything. It was like, by the way, we're opening a yarn store soon. I was just like spreading the news already. Yeah, never tell Max a secret if you want that secret to be kept. Yeah, I just just never. get too excited. So <laughs> I just told them. Um, so yeah, we've been at it since this summer where we've been able to finally do things over it. Um, we are. Just, just, just be sure. We are extremely excited, <laughs> but also exhausted because we've been dealing with so many little things that are just step back all the time, things that are out of our control. And at first, it was sort of easy to just like, well, we can't do anything, so we'll just yeah. have to wait. But we've been waiting for such a long time that it's just like, ah. yeah, it was city permits and then finding people to work and then what else uh, electricity no, then we, don't, step we back. still don't have electricity yeah um because it's a new address uh it's a new like they have to install a new meter the people that came and installed everything did a very good job and then 
our our provider came to install the meter is like oh this installation is not up to code but the electricians uh, had called the provider and asked and, yeah. asked and said we want to do that is it okay and the provider said yes but then they came back and they said no so <sighs> and we're not doing anything by ourselves. We always have like a professional do it for us and we're learning as we go. Yes. So that's why we're always like the electricity, all those things are just like brand new and stuff. Thankfully we're online. So yes. it's just like, we can still yeah. sell stuff. Yeah. Um, we're not waiting for that, but um, we still don't have a definite date. It's going to be early 2024 if yes. everything goes well. It is absolutely gorgeous. At least like yes. everything is painted. We've had some built in and everything. We Yeah. Furniture is there. It's installed. Things is painted. Lighting is on track. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be completed, uh, but without electricity, we cannot even test if the lighting that we're installing works because we don't have electricity. <laughs> uh, so Yes, a lot of setbacks, but a lot of steps forwards as well. And it's going to be soon. And uh, we're excited. We are. We are. Uh, it, yes. We're just pretty exhausted from <laughs> all the things. Tell that to our faces. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it is like, thankfully, I hope our wedding's going to go smoother than that. Uh, yes, because yes. Because this is our, our first big project ever. We've never done anything that that upscale. Because when we started the company, Les Garçons, we just started small and then it just grew by itself. But this was just like... <laughs> just try. Okay, sorry. Um, there's... I'm going to put my face on. Oh, there you go. Um... So yeah, we're absolutely excited. Everything has been taught out. It is really nice. We've been lucky enough that an interior designer I've worked on it, he's a fellow knitter. So we've been able to have our shop be a design with knitting in mind because he's a knitter. Like, seriously, find yourself friends that are knitter and ask them to do stuff. It's perfect. Yeah, because there's, in every job, someone is a knitter. Yeah. So, yeah. Even the guy that um, installs everything, the our main contractor kind of thing, um, he's not a knitter, but his, his cousin is, and he's been talking about the shop and she's really excited for it and he's like he finds it so cool that uh he can now like have this um on his portfolio and say well and uh, that on his portfolio but also like this conversation with her that he couldn't have had yeah yeah so um that's it we're opening well next episode is going to be filmed there that we promise like there's no reason not to um, and then by then it's going to be opened. Yeah, but Vincent. What? Where is it? I don't know. What? <laughs> it's right under here. Well, there's, wait, there's one <laughs> more, one on the floor <laughs> between us. Uh, so it's in the same building as the, the studio. studio, the Dye Studio, and this space that is now going to become more of a warehouse type thing like backstore type situation um yeah and we're so, located on the plateau in montreal, in montreal. yes we, we you know we never said that it was in montreal in the announcement like we I just said we were opening our store <laughs> where where oh, find it far from here we're just opening it and then we're just like deal with it it's open no we're gonna deal with it um so it's gonna be in montreal it's gonna be soon and another announcement about that you know we're always dropping tanya's name oh, well yeah. you're gonna be able to meet her now because she's joining les garçons team and she's gonna be the store manager downstairs it's like it's the best thing we could have hoped for she knows everything about us and the yarn and so it's just gonna be yeah it's gonna be smooth. an easy transition so yeah. we're slowly training her and slowly i am slowly delegating all of my powers <laughs> um, I have the power. all of the things Amen. that um are related to the operation operational side of the thing so all of the ordering and everything everything 
um, is now going to be on Tanya's shoulders and not mine. Yay! <laughs> What's this? Is this? I'm going to be able. Stuff? I'm going to be able to um, to knit, and because now I barely have anything that is to show true. you. Yeah, um, it's been crazy lately. So yeah. we are excited for the holidays to come. I'm looking forward to my birthday. Oh, is it your birthday? Yes. See how smooth I was. To get yes. yes. <laughs> Next subject. <laughs> I'm going to be turning 40. 40. Before you finish your sentence, I thought you were going to say, I'm going to be 30. I'm going to be 30. 30 like, no. 30 line. No. Again. And again. <laughs> no, I'm going to be 40. I'm going to join Vincent in the daddy club. Yep. 40. I'm. Honestly, I'm really happy with my thirties. Like Sixty. Now. Yeah, with all the stress. <laughs> I'm really happy. I, I love my thirties. Honestly, this is where I felt more com confident about myself. I've been able to, you know, transition from illustrator to full time knitwear designer. We've been able to build a company, both of us together. It's been more of a, even though we've there's been like three years out of it and pandemic and stuff, which were rough. I'm really happy of where I am at in my life. Oh. Um, yeah. But yeah, what a year it's been. We've been... We've, 30s was fun. But we both turned 40. Yes. Lola, 15. 15. Like, we're just a bunch of old people here. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. She was last... You said November. Yeah, in between. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Lola turned 15. 15 years old. What, she's still how there. How old is she? For, yeah, she's sleeping now. Thank um, you. Well, you if rough. you do um, the standard seven years human life seven years uh, seven human years is one dog year then she's 105 but my sister sent a graph where smaller dogs it was not the same they have a longer for, span, yeah. li lifespan lifespan so um, it was like 76 or something she's still young she's still yeah 76 is so young she still have some little things where she act like she's a puppy. It's so weird where she's yes. sleeping like 18 hours a day and then she gets super excited and jumpy and was like, how old are you? Like, <laughs> yeah, but now she's sleeping under a blanket. Yeah. Very calm. And that's what we'll do the whole vacation thing in between. Sleeping under a blanket. Yes. Yes. Playing video game, watching TV. It's just going to be... Because I'm guessing we're not going to have calls for from... No work's going to be done downstairs in the week, during the weekend. Nope, the nope. studio is closed. So we're uh, not the studio, the other downstairs. <laughs> the atelier, there's no worker, electricity, and everything that are gonna come. I don't think so. Uh, no, the work is supposed to be done okay. on Friday. Well, today for you guys. Yeah. Um, today, well, yes, today is the last day that the workers are coming. They're finishing up the lighting. And the wall, the footboards, wall, foot, the thing at the bottom of the wall. I don't remember. Oh, the, uh, the fi finishing beam, uh, not beam. Well, yeah, that thing at the bottom. So see how hard word. we are? Vincent yes. is not finding his word. And I cannot help him because I just it's don't a... find any words. But <laughs> what are plank? Pla no, foot. Something. But but not foot, foot hill. Something? No. Anyway. Footnotes? No. No. <laughs> baseboards. Yes. There's no foot. No base. foot. There's no there's foot no in foot. baseball. But there's a board. <laughs> there's a board. Um baseboard. So the baseboards, the lighting, and then the finishing touches and the furniture is gonna be done on Friday. So today. Um and then electricity, we're still waiting. Oh, but to... one thing that was fun, though, because they had to do many uh, on a weekend. They had to do a lot of renovation downstairs. It's going to be dusty. And the landlord says it was going to arrive around 6 a.m. So yes. Vincent had the idea of let's just go downtown and rent <laughs> a hotel for the weekend that accept dogs. And like we ate, we eat in, we had champagne. It was just like a small vacation from our place while they were doing. Do that again. Yes, it felt so nice. And we were yeah. like. 15 minutes from here it just yeah. like we're not at home oh my god so nice so. but then we yeah we could sleep in there was no 
Lola was loving it. Like yeah. the big bed, the, the they gave her like a dog bed too, and it was like the biggest Gigantic, one ever. Because they, when you say dog, they think you're bringing yeah. your a horse. 100. Yeah. <laughs> But that, oh. um, and just one last thing in what's new. We've purchased many advent calendar. I have one of. I have only one. Oh no, I have two. I'll show one later on. Uh, I have one of yarn from Olan where I had a mini uh, unwrapping a mini every day, yeah, including two full skein and then a mini every day. I'm ashamed. You how how many do you have? Excluding the one I got you, and I'll and the chocolate one, and the chocolate one. Okay, so I have the chocolate one, the yeah. one you got me. I got a weaving one. I got a yarn one. A we'll mini them. yarn one. Yeah. That I, well, oh, I, I didn't bring anything, but yeah, uh, it was 12, 12 days, 12 minis. Um, and then the exit one, the the game, the it's a escape room game. So every week you have uh, every day, sorry, you have a little um, enigma and a little puzzle to solve. Um, it's very fun so far. I, th I think I skipped today and maybe yesterday. Um, but it's super well done. You basically open your little door. You solve the, the, the thing. You find a code, like a numerical code. And then you check the code against kind of a path. Like it gives you a path to follow on the little board uh, of doors. And then if the code matches the door where you've... what. It's it, very well done. You had to cut out the box to create shape and yeah, at shadows. Some point, like, you have it's, to create. Yeah, it's it's a fun thing. But you, we were received it quite late, like on a thing. Yes, because so you... yeah. But then I caught up to, uh, for it, and now I'm late again. But yeah, it's it, fine. It's fine. Um, and then I, I think I have another one. Oh, oh yeah, I, I got another one of yarn that also got here late. That I later, yeah, never open. I still haven't opened. Oh, and you had a skincare one that never. Oh, I have up. a. I had a skincare one that never showed up, and then, so I. There's someone between us who lied this year. Oh, you did said that, that last year. No, then... but you you're always saying that you're not someone who purchased a lot of things, and then you just went like, let's open seventy five things every day. But I only have three now. Yeah, <laughs> I only have two left now. Yeah, and then one chocolate to eat. Yeah, because I gave you mine. Um. Uh, one of my gifts for him for Christmas was a, uh, an advent calendar. And like this summer, you started that crave or? Um, yeah, it's basically, well, my sister and my sister is a big enabler. Mm -hmm. um, so she told me that she was working on Rubik's cubes. Um, just a regular Rubik, Rubik's cube. So I said, oh, I always wanted to like learn how to do it. So I bought one. And then just basically learn how to do it and how it works and what are the algorithms to finish it um, because it's fun. As a kid, I, I was Matt... playing with it and I like was taking the sticker out and putting it in the right place at the end. That's the only f the way I've solved it. So Max found um, a Rubik's Cube. Advent calendar. Advent calendar. 24 days of different cubes. Who, who yeah. would have thought that <laughs> it's from Europe? I've ordered it, I think, like end of September to make sure it was so, arriving. Uh, by the way, you said it was a Christmas gift. I yeah. never um, accepted that. It was not on my list. Um, I'm not buying you. I don't even know your list, but I'm not even buying you things from your list. So, um, but I, really I don't think I don't year. think it counts. Um, so, like, for example, one like. Um, There was like a two by two cube. I got a four by four cube. The regular one is three by three. I got one of those that it's metallic. It's like it's so fun. Uh, but I also got this one, which is a little pyramid. And only the tips move. But then if you... Just, not the yellow one. So if not... Okay, the blue Let's one. We can't see. Uh, so if you move... Oh, I need to move this one. If you move one of the tips, then the center changes um and then if you move another tip and then another tip uh and then so that's how it gets 
all not messed up but uh, mixed up kind of and then you have to solve it this one's kind of easy I'm not gonna should I try to solve it no no because on camera no you are so all... now like yeah. I have the sides but all uh, the center is not right so I would have to solve that and can we take a second to say how annoying you are because you solve them every freaking day you found a way there are instruction but still yeah in every uh, box. box you get the instructions and all to solve them um, some I have to check but some you like yeah. this one I, I it was easy um, this one I kind of had to check because well it came like this and it was on a table and I said I didn't say anything and then I in my head I said oh before I undo it I'll just kind of check how it's made and then I came back and it was to my defense like I thought that. it was gonna <laughs> twist and not just be like oh I thought it was a cube <laughs> no so this is called a snake puzzle um, and this one has uh, six eight 24 pieces um, and then you basically have to like rebuild rebuild, rebuild the the things um this one i can now do without looking but i had to check kind of how to start it on the internet but now i can do it without having to check i'm not gonna again not gonna do it and there was one like this <laughs> this i still haven't been able to do it uh it's basically just like a long string of wooden block uh, some turn and then you basically have to place them in the right thing to redo the cube but I still haven't it's a hard it. one it's uh, a hard one and then that's one of the other ones that, that we got um, I started solving it I have a couple faces it was better earlier but um, so it's a like five that's a lot. Five pieces by, yeah. And it's a one, two, three, four, five, six. So 12, 12 faces. So it's do de cadron. Do de cadron, yeah. Do de cadron? Do de cadron? I don't know. Um, so the 12 face little thing. And I got another one that's 12, but has more pieces on each face. So this one is five, but I yeah. got one that's like the tinier ones. Is it that? One? Yeah, they're yeah <laughs> a little bit tinier. So I got it from Master Cube. So it's a European yep. company. If you ever yep. need an idea for next year for someone that loves puzzle, puzzles yeah. and games, but I'm that's I'm it. gonna regift them to my sister uh, good, yeah. for next year because once it's a lot. Yeah, once you've done them and it's a lot of space. Sorry, like it takes a lot of space. It's fun. It's fun to open one every day, but then I won't go back to them over and the over. Next year. Yeah, over and over. Uh, I'm gonna keep the shiny one, and then I'm gonna replace it with another gift for her. But oh, and you got the easiest one to solve too. It's just like one square, but it's a oh yeah, that was it's a keychain. One yeah, <laughs> it's like a keychain that was in that uh, box where. Um, not cheat cards, but cue cards, like, to solve, like, a regular Rubik's Cube. Like, all of the algorithms okay, okay. written on cards. And then came with a little keychain of, like, just a cube. So it was very fun. So that was my advent calendar. Zzz. Zzz. You need to well, put the S at the end. Um, yeah. That's, that's pretty much it. What have we been up to? It. Have we accomplished anything? I did accomplish a lot of things, thankfully. Um, I've been back into uh, spinning. It's something that just bring me some, brought me some comfort, comfort, and just didn't require anything to like concentrate of, or it's just like it's now became second nature. My, um, my. Draft? Draft doesn't break anymore. I'm just like good at just no, doing it. I don't it know if that's what it's No, word. that's not the right word. I don't know. I just. My single? That's the only thing that I know about spinning. Yeah. 
My single no stopped breaking while I'm spinning, so it made it quite easy for me to do it without concentrating. Um, I made these two. This is, I started from two braids that were dyed by Akara Yarn, a fellow Canadian maker. I bought two braids of a hundred. She's now called Ro Akara, Akara Rose? Akara Rose, maybe? Or just Rose? We'll have to check. Um, check. I bought them a while ago. Uh, they are really uh, soft. There was some cashmere in it. It was like a nice blend where you have some shine with the fiber which make it really like, um, give it a nice texture. Yeah. I did a three ply. Akara Rose. Akara Rose. Her name is Rose. And yeah, it's just that uh, she's not dyeing yarn anymore. She's only concentrating on fiber, so. Oh, I didn't know. Well, <laughs> she made an announcement on Instagram. Okay, <laughs> sorry. So uh, she dyes beautiful fiber, like exhibit yes. A and B. <laughs> Um, so this is a three ply. I used two braids from hers. I separated each braid into three sections that I've weighted after into three singles so that I could actually um, ply them all together to create some uneven um, texture. Like there's some caramel throughout, but since there's some on every strands, it won't create a fade but more like splotches of colors but um not very graded but more i don't know it's gonna be nice let's just say that okay well, yes <laughs> i'm pretty sure it's gonna be nice uh it is are you gonna it's nice now soft. but did do you do you knit no with those <laughs> it is a question do not ask any spinner if they have no. plans with their yarn we just make well, it. Well, you're talking fun. about splotches of colors. You won't see splotches of colors. Just dashes. Until... I know, but that's what my. What I'd like to do though is once I finish it, I should before scanning it all just do a little swatch and just put it to the scan so that I know exactly how it looks like. Because I'm still <laughs> learning and to see what it does. I should. Yeah, I'll. I'll. I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do that. Um, and after this one, I made this. This is 60 gram of the new LDA fiber, La Bien Aimée. Uh, this is our Volute. Volute? I don't know. Volute? Volute? I'm not sure. Volute? Volute? Vol <laughs> volute? No, not, not Volute. Not because Volute sounds... Well, it sounds very Quebec French. Yeah. Um, so these are 320 grams of each of their colors. There is like a really pale pink, then a dust, not dusty pink, but more of a gray, and then a peachy one. And I spin them all together. This is 100% cash, cashmere, and the fiber was extremely soft. I thought I was going to lose some softness while after being spun. It didn't. It is still... Quite nice, and the shawl, the shawl set, the fiber that I've showed earlier is sport weight, and this one is DK weight. Both are three plies. I think I got to do like 150 no, turns on her. DK or something. Heavy sport. If yeah. I did the math on this one, but yeah, I didn't but... save my math anywhere. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and now I am back at spinning my sweater quantity of hedgehog fiber. I did three skeins so far, and I've spun my first bobbin of single for my other single of my three ply for my other three skein. It's just a, I, it's but fun spinning. You can put the you know the math gif over. Yeah, my head with now. the woman being like, what? Um, it's just. A sweater quantity kind of being ended up being boring a bit of like spinning always the same color so I, I like to spruce it up a little bit in my spinning so <laughs> now I'm back to it spruce it up but this one I'd like to actually knit something with it and maybe do your little black sweater with not so black yarn we'll see or a we'll cardigan well, I think we mentioned that we were done last time with the dyeing part of the holiday box, but no, we finished the shipping part. We had the the wrapping party. We, we said did. hi to France. Did we? 
high fives otherwise, but I think we did. Or was it in the newsletter? No, I think it was before. Or was it after? I don't remember. That's what's fun. Um, <laughs> it's not. But... Ooh. How fancy. How fancy. So that's the... This year... Wow. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We never There's... saw it on camera. It looks good. Uh, so that's the box that we sent out. Um, it has a little foil, as you can see, of Les Garçons logo. It's all black. It's all fancy. It's all fancy, fancy. And that's thanks to me with doing some doom scrolling on Instagram at like yes. 1 a.m. <laughs> where I found a company local to us that yes. do boxes. And they're doing all the shops that were going all the time, like our meat shop or... Yeah, they um, so it, they're called Embalage Three Hundred and Sixty, <laughs> um, and they did a wonderful job with the box. And then we put a little Frostfang sticker on it. Very very cute. Our uh, team was uh, Frozen Forest. Yes, you have the postcard in it. Yes, I'm gonna open the other because this one is still packed yeah but it showed the inside without being packed with okay. uh, well it's a little before it's a little the bit, reveal it's a little bit messy oh. um but so when you open the box you had a little postcard and then two skeins of yarn uh one at the top and one at the bottom and then little little bags and a candle in the middle it's a little bit smushed. That's the one that we use to um, take pictures of and everything. So um, that's what you got if you got the box. We're going to show the days now that... Well, we can show until Friday, right? It's not going to go up until Friday. I'm going to put it maybe Thursday night. So Okay, so let's do until Thursday. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't even know. What are days? What are what are days? I know up until the six, but then after that, oh, I could look at them. Hold on, hold on. Let me do some oh, magic. And this one is different. It was a test. Oh yeah, it was uh, a test. test That's why it doesn't have the foil on it. The yeah. Let me just check. So I'll that's I'll one. get the box and I'll give you the colors while you. Okay, so that was five, that's six, so that's seven and eight. Okay. So this is day one? So this is day one. Day one was a little um, ornament. It has a little hook if you want to put it on your um, Christmas tree or any type of holiday stuff that you do. And then number two is the full skein of the lighter... Well, let's show before number yeah. zero was <laughs> a little tote bag of a little frostling. Like, how cute. It's another uh, local company to us. We yeah. made it. So, a little tote bag here. And then there was day one, and that's day two. Day two is a full skein of BFL sock. It's the color frozen forest the color of the team and there's a little frostling here frostling is what we call the little spirits that are um, on the image um, anyway um, so that's the first and then we had special labels very cute is then, it the snow frosting yes yeah, snow frosting was day three so Again, a little frosting here label. Um, all of the minis are called after a fro like a type of frosting. There's the snow frosting. The next one is a crystal frosting. It's our first year where we've been able to put our concept on everything. <laughs> it was yes. so good. We were quite excited. Um, this one came with a, also with a little progress keeper. I don't know if we it's in the box. Oh yeah, a little crystal progress keeper with little stitch markers that are stuck to it. I don't know if we're gonna see somewhere. It's anyway, tiny. it's tiny. A little that that came with that, 
And then day four was... Air? No. No. Wood? No. No. So that was... Sorry, two, Earth? three, four. No, so that's five. Day five Earth. was this one. The other big guy. The other uh, full skein. They're in the order that you're going to need them in the pattern. So that's why you got the two full skeins kind of at the start. Because we wanted you to Be maybe to start, start yeah, yeah, maybe start the pattern as well. Uh, start and it comes with a lantern progress keeper here. Day six is the candle. So again, we're back with Muji, which is um, another local, come on, local. Come on, local. <laughs> uh, maker who has done candle for us and we've been distributing his candle for a while. Joël has been on the Quebec version of Dragon's Den or Shark Tank. Yeah. His scent are so good. Yes, yeah, like, so good. Well, it's called uh, Frozen Forest for the team, but the real... Uh, scent is cypress tree and cypress tree and white pepper, I think. And it smells like it's so good. I know it smells so good. I know. So that was day six. Day six was yesterday. Today is day seven. Well, today for us is day seven, and today is no. Yes. Yes, I know. Do you know why? Yes, because it's the fire frostling. And with so... fire frostling, do you know what comes with it? <laughs> that was my idea. Don't try and steal it. Fire match. <laughs> fire match. Is it fire, fire. match? No. no, it's just matches. matches. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And they're black. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. So they're a uh, little Muji um, that came with the, we asked them for, with the candles. <laughs> Um, so the color is called the fire frostling and then there was matches with it. Oh my God. We're so good. So good with concepts. By the way, <laughs> if you need a concept, it sounds really conceptual. It was just out of luck that we put the matches no. with it. No, we were so happy though, but it was out of luck and no. Yes. <sighs> yes. Tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> So and let's just show one one less. So that was today. So if we want, uh, we'll just show tomorrow. Tomorrow, that's okay, yeah. yeah. And that's the Earth Frostling. That's wood. That's Earth. Yeah. yeah. That's this one, which is a little brown, a uh, very warm brown with hints of red in it. Um, very, very, very nice thing. So those are whatever has been opened. So far, we won't show the rest, but um, on our Instagram every day, we sh we send a picture of... Um... Yeah, we do a reveal around 6 p.m. Eastern time. Yes. So you get your... Because I guess that you get your coffee in the morning and you unwrap your, your gift. That's, that's how I do it. So I hope yes. you do the same because you need a little pick-me-up in the morning and just unwrapping free the yarn is sort of the way to go. Mm -hmm. And with the box can come a pattern that we'll use every skin of it yeah we've made the design this year i ha i made a plan of how the colors could work because we've developed the color with the pattern in mind like we did it we treated it all as a, a whole object and i had an idea of a con construction and then together we came up with the final construction and how Trying to make to it show the pattern without showing the other colors yeah but... so we'll be able to show the first half of it yeah so that's one of my finished objects that I never got yeah. to show that now I can show. So it's a scarf that starts here with the first um, color full skein and then the first mini and then the second mini. Um, and it's basically a modular scarf where you knit a full triangle and then um, when you're done, it's basically bound off. You have a little handkerchief Do. if you want or you could uh, pick up <laughs> along this side and then knit the other triangle and then it goes the same on and on. Same. I'm just gonna try not really uh, too much so that's the so that was the first triangle and then you have the second so triangle that's the part you don't want to show yeah the after yeah <laughs> I'll, okay. 
it's hidden. So that's the first triangle, and then second triangle, third triangle, and then the fourth. You can you could show the fourth if you can just a little bit. This one. Yeah. Okay. And not, oh, it, oh, oh. <laughs> um, and basically, um, every two triangles. So you have the light full skin and then the mini, but then the mini repeats itself in the stripe here and vice versa. And then the other two. And then you have eight triangles total. And when you're done, you do just a little tiny two stitches, uh, two stitches yeah. I cord finishing just to have like a little border and it's pick up as you go so you don't have to pick up um ha like however many stitches along the way you just pick up as you go and then you bind it off and then it creates and then you do the same on the other side and then you have just a nice little edge i just love how each color are like corresponding with it looks so good i'm we're good. really happy with what right. we Sorry. came up with i mean I'm gonna, I'm gonna see it. We're good, like this. Uh, this yeah, this one. <laughs> this took so much planning. Yeah. From it's, it's rare that from a first sketch of what we want to accomplish, from yeah. color to a uh, construction to, to end up with the exact same thing, it as, it took as two the people. Sketch, to, yeah, yeah, it did took. So take when time. we have like collaborative designs, that's that's what they are. Yeah, <laughs> um, they take six months to they take six months to do. Um, so that's it. So that's this carve. You can kind of see what it should look like up to now. Yeah, you don't have to knit it as. <laughs> but it it's... would work with so many color combos easily. You could even do like one, like every big triangle could be also a different color. Yeah, it could, could be, be just a triangle. Busting. Like it yeah. could be. This could be like. Yeah, you repeat dark, these Dark light, two. dark light, and then mm. dark light, dark light. Yeah, it could be like whatever you want. Um, could be like different. Like, do what you want. Many. And it's called Frost Fang Scarf. And it's sort of the triangle feels like fangs. Like when we said we were all in, <laughs> we did. Okay. Um, it's really, it's not. It's not too hard. Like there's a bunch of um, a little bit more tricky construction things, but I think the pattern is pretty well written. But you don't uh, have to do anything from like if you were knitting for Cirque du Soleil. It's just like go no. stitch, stocking it, and picking up. So then stitches. Pick, picking up like there's one tricky thing um, when you start the third triangle where you have to. Mm pick up then cast on but then if you want to have a nice edge you have to cast on using um long tail so you have to create your tail it's all explained in the pattern um we'll do i'll do a video um i've linked a video of someone else doing exactly the same technique but i am still gonna do a video in the new year um because they're gonna be more helpful if it's exactly that yeah, yeah. that's yeah. carf um and not someone else's pattern but it's it, the video that i linked in it is exactly the same the same technique it's just for a different pattern um that's it so you repeat that like but each square can be done like triangle yes triangle shapes shapes um <laughs> uh, each sh each each triangle um kind of can be done in one night like it's really easy because you start with the long end and then you decrease as you go towards the tip here yeah they're so, they're mainly all little center decrease garter stitch shawls that you just like stitch yeah. together so it's the fun part of starting a shawl and then just stop before it becomes yes too, too much <laughs> so that well, was it next so episode the... we'll be able to show the whole yeah the whole, the whole scarf. scarf and then we'll um release the pattern mm somewhere um towards i we don't no, have it. it it's out now huh? well is the it? pattern is out now yeah. if you want to buy it uh well the pattern is out now it's called frost fangs carve it's on Le Garçon's ravelry page and uh it's not on our website right yet Ooh, no. who is it no it's not <laughs> no, on it's, our website a, it's gonna be on the website soon and <laughs> uh, there's no photo of the actual pattern because that's they, it it's... that's that's what i wanted to say yeah. um we oh color and I hope. <laughs> and I hope. Um, we're going to release 
the, the official pictures yeah. and the photos and the colors and the full the patterns with the photos um as soon as uh everything has been unwrapped so that we don't uh spoil any colors yeah so that's it and speaking of pattern and er yes. earlier i said that i was 40 soon <laughs> Um, it's my birthday sale this week on Patterns on a website and on Ravelry. There's a twenty percent, yeah, twenty yeah, percent discount on everything from the pattern by Le Garçon or by me, with the code forty. The number is the new thirty. Is the number? Maybe you again. can write it. Maybe you can do some special effects, or write it down in the comments. No, no, no. I don't do special effect. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, no, yes, no, the S no, yes, no. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, for until December 27th, so that's my annual birthday sale. So, if you want any pattern, including the new shawl, do use it. Uh, go on Instagram or even on Ravelry, it's described. Uh, you'll get you'll be able to copy paste the, the, the promo code. code. Did you put the, co the promo code on the Legar Soul pattern? I am not on the... No, no. So uh, promo code is going to be written down in, in the, the link description in the below. description down below. Yes, let's <laughs> below below below. Um, and other things we finish. Uh, that's a little bit of cheating, but still, uh, you're wearing the officer sweater, yes. which just came out earlier this month. It is. Yes. I'm gonna say it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Top two favorite sweater. Yes. I'm gonna say I love this one a lot too, so it's sort of hard to decide which one is my favorite. Um, but I'm just I love top down construction with seaming. It just it's bottom less up. bottom yeah. Bottom up. It's bottom up. Less fun because you cannot really try it as you go. But it does create such nice garment. It is in Tarja. It is in Tarja shouldn't be scary. You but just use another it's yarn. My si it's not your size, it's my size. I love wearing things that are more roomier. But now. like it, like the shoulder seam. Yeah, the like shoulder right is right here, yeah. at my shoulder. Because uh, you're wearing size three, three, three. three. <laughs> oh, that has to be the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> no, please. Yes. It's my birthday. It's not gonna be that. It's my birthday. Um. Yeah. So um, it's knit in pieces. You can you. Cast on the band, it's not a cuff, but band the at the bottom, the hem at the bottom, and then you just knit the first half, you get through here, and then you knit the back. You can seam both of the top just because you want to try it on, because that's what I like to do try things <laughs> as many times as I can. And then you knit flat both uh, sleeves, and then you seam them and pick up the collar. I love it. It is in our brand new fluff, which is a collaboration with Balcott Yarn. It's the officer sweater, and it's using the color officer, which is the olive green, and then the black is shadow. Shadow. Um, it is so light. It takes, I think your size is three skeins and three skeins, so six skeins total. Yeah. Uh, but it weighs like 250 grams because there are 50 gram skeins. So like it's very, very light. It's uh, warm. But, but it's the, sorry, but it's warm. The the air is able yeah. to go through. So you, you're warm, but um, not sweaty. It's not water retainable. Does it know? Does it know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to explain. You have to try it, honestly. Yeah. And... <laughs> I have a lot, we've been able to send it to testing and the people who use the same yarn, the comment were like, it is crazy how you knit with it. It's a fluffy yarn. You can have black jeans and you will have no fibers. No stick on it. Yeah, yes. that's. It's not, it doesn't shed. It, thank you. Is the word. It's not the mohair thing where it's just like, you get some everywhere, including in your, in your nose. So this doesn't do that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I finished this like. Even last yeah. podcast, I was wearing it, but now it's it is now out. And the other sweater I finished is the one I'm wearing now. I've been wearing this one a lot since. I'm obsessed with with your fluff. bumps, bumps all the things. <laughs> uh, so that's gonna be the bumpy sweater. It is not out yet. 
I will release it next year, but it is written. Um, Tanya is making herself a sample and hers is going to be cropped. And same thing with the sleeve. She's going to, I'm not sure exactly where she's going to stop. Uh, well, she'll decide what she prefers. Um, so this one, using only one color, it took me five skein to make the whole sweater. So 250 grams, like you said earlier, is how... Um, so it makes like very light sweaters. Yeah, still warm, but light. Um, and I made it like, I have long arms and, you know, so this is a long one. Uh, this one is size four. Uh, the main color I'm using is cold rain. And this time I'm not using dyed wool of spin cycle. I'm using Nocturne, which is uh, the, they, they it's dyed the good. same base. They, they dyed the same color, but on a gray base. And I just felt like it just created a nice, um, colorful yet even just of the, okay. there's a, you know, like an undertone, you know, gray everywhere, you know. <laughs> and they did a lot of color managing for the sleeves and I'm just so happy how I'm like, I'm matchy matchy on everything. And I've used the same technique for weaving the, the ends under the, um, the bumps and create like a little dotted fabric. So I'm going to send it out to testers in January. Um, I'm just going to wear it until then because I could <laughs> like live in it. I, you'll see, I have like other product and fluff. I'm yeah. Cause you don't really see, really? You, don't really <laughs> see. you don't really see the stitch. You see more a fabric, which for me is, is nice. Cause it just feel like mm -hmm. a different, kind of thing I'm yes. I'm loving it okay so yeah I finished this yeah well I didn't finish um, two what? sweaters and a shawl no mm -mm. I finished well it only took me like three nights though so yeah I finished a little ribbed hat <laughs> um, with an end that I haven't woven in. It's... I showed last year, because I think I had made it for winter. Was um, it for summer? I don't know. My ribbed hat? Yeah. The well, red one? When we had the, the, the base. Because no, we didn't release like it during the winter. Oh. Well, it was like January. Okay. So it was winter last year. I made a rib hat with our BFL Aaron base, which is a hundred gram superwash, a uh, hundred percent superwash BFL blue face luster. Um, it's a two ply yarn with a lot of bump. Like you won't, I don't, you won't see it, but um, the ply is gorgeous. It's bouncy it's very fun and i had made myself a red rib hat uh no patterns just two by two ribbing and then i figured out the decreases kind of on my own um it's nothing super original in terms of pattern like there's probably the exact same pattern out there somewhere that being said my mom one and one um, in this colorway. So that's a gift, a Christmas gift for her. She knows it's coming. I've showed her. Well, she offered to buy the yarn and then I would knit it, but I decided I would just knit it. Knit it. Um, and offer. And offer it, yeah. So um, it's a triple brim or double brim. I don't know. Like it has like. Wait, you, you didn't do that on the last one. No, the last one was like just plain, yeah. like two by two, and then you fold it three times. Um, well, two, you fold the brim twice, which I found was not fun because the it kind of wouldn't stay the same width all the time. Mm -hmm. So this one I decided to attach it um, as we did, like the unbearable hat and... But this well, one like was many a, just a double. So this one is a triple. Yes. Um, 
but I, I just attached it and then mm-hmm. you just like fold it again. Um, and then it becomes a triple one. Um, I kind of did like the Hustlow hat, but not really, um, to do. Yeah. So basically just like folded brim and then you fold it again, like another time. And then you keep on knitting. Um, but it's surprising that it doesn't look that heavy for being folded that many times compared to the single fabric. Because I feel like the one on the Oslo hat, well, it's uh, folded and folded. It does look way heavier than the fabric in the middle. That this uh, one yeah. looks similar to the fabric on the top. So maybe it's the ribbing that just... Yeah, Takes maybe it's space. a ribbing. Like the Oslo hat is just stuck in it. Um, so this one like is basically just ribbing. And then I did some fun decreases um, where they follow like a single rib column. I don't know if we can see it. Again, nothing very um, original. You just know, like just need to know when to do a purl stitch and when to do a knit stitch. Um, but then one thing that I had, that I played around and um, I had to redo the crown is to do this type of decrease, like I did on my first hat. My first hat. Um, you need a multiple of 16 stitches. Um, and this one is eight stitches less than my hat. Mine had done 96 stitches. So I could do uh, the same decrease pattern on all four mm. kind of sides. Um, but this one I had, it's an 88 stitches. And so I had to cheat it. And I did just a little, I don't, we won't see it probably on the camera. Did you show it to jean -Fi? No, he's going to be proud of me. Yeah, because he's the hat queen. He's the hat queen. And he also said, like, we cannot do... He, he basically told me last time, and that that was that was a challenge. He said, no, I, like, I love those decreases, but you cannot do many sizes in, uh, like, in a single pattern because you have to have, like, a multiple of 16. And I said, mm. huh. Yeah. Huh. Challenge hold, accept, hold my hold beer. My beer. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Because he does uh, a lot of hat pattern and he spends like he's a lot like, of time on this uh, these decreases because this is what would actually make a design a simple design stand out is because yeah. of how clean and sharp it could look. Yeah. Um, that. <laughs> I mean, it's a finished object, guys. Oh. Uh, there's a lot of free patterns out there for like two by two knitted beanies or um you could easily cast on the amount you need and then do it and yourself then just like and, yeah yeah like basically what i did the first time was just like cast on whatever you want and then knit until it's the length you want um but those are the little things that maybe you kind of want well i'm not saying like don't get a free pattern so like free patterns sums uh some and if not all are really great um but sometimes you just need like just little thing that little explanation to have the little cheating thing you want uh, the thing that someone figure out how to make yeah. it neater or cool so um i actually might just write this as a le garçon just like basic pattern, like I think we should have a line of like Le Garçon basic patterns. I don't know. Um, Are you calling me basic? Yes. <laughs> but, yes. yes. Uh, but like this with our yarn, um, this like this is a really nice yarn to work out a uh, beanie out of, and then I could have like this little pattern with this little cheat here. That is true. Um, and if you also like one of the the other thing is if you like the way you already like some of you already know how we write our patterns and you might like the way we write our patterns. So you will know that this pattern will be written the same way and then 
you might be more tempted to uh, follow this one instead of another one. That being said, if you have your free two by two ribbing beanie pattern, go ahead. Uh, we don't mind. Uh. And anyway, free or not, this is free, the kind of yeah. pattern you could do like 75 out of because oh, it yeah. is. Well, I'm probably going to Christmas do... gift. Yes. Yeah. I'm probably going to do um, one more for my mom. I'm probably going to redo it. This one is fine, but it's a little shorter than mine was because because I attached that's that was I'm talking a lot about this beanie, but <laughs> I attached the braid. I made a whole sweater. <laughs> yes, I made, I made I made a beanie, and I'm gonna talk <laughs> 25 minutes about it. Um, but I attached because I measured the one that I have, and I said I need. I like this much length. So that's how I'm going to spend my last time in my 30s. Yes. Listening, <laughs> listening to me talking about this beanie. Um, I had measured like the length of mine and I just like subtracted whatever because my mom is a little bit smaller and it has, I have a huge head um, and she doesn't. Um, but then mine, because it's not attached, my brim is a little shorter. So it has a little bit of a like tip over it, but this one doesn't have it. All that to say, which maybe, color is it? Maybe we can cut like all of what. I said. <laughs> no, no, no! If I've suffered through it, you're gonna <laughs> suffer People through are it. Gonna suffer. <laughs> um, so it's BFL Aaron. That's not the color. Um, that's the base. Yes. This is our BFL Aaron. It's on the website. This color is Lorian's Sage Advice. It's Good. a little sage green um, that my mom requested. So that's uh, what I made it out of. This beanie, this size, again, a little smaller than what I would have liked, but it took me just about a skein. Like, I have maybe two grams left. Um, Tanya tried it on, and she has a small head. You heard it. It works. Oh. You... Heard it at first. Uh, Tanya has a small head, um, and it fit great on her. So we, um, my mom might like this one as it is. In which case, I'm not gonna do another one. Yeah. But I'm might do another one for me for the pattern. Anyway, enough about this beanie. That's the only thing I had to present. It is so. really cute. It's well made, and she's yes. gonna be happy. Except Good. this. And so, oh, by the way. This beanie. No, okay. You can go. Sorry. I'm done. <laughs> no, seriously. He's, Thank you. It's the only Sorry. thing you've made. It took me, took me three nights. <laughs> um, that's a second sample. I've showed the first one the last time, but I've also finished a second you had, plump it up shawl. You had showed this one. Well, I wasn't it. finished. I actually yep. part of it. Yeah. Yep. Um, this one uses the plump by Spin Cycle, which is a bulky weight fade. You're talking, it's been too long. Move, move along. Stop. Well, I've talked as, <laughs> as long as this one takes to, to knit, to be fair. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, two skein of plum and then two skein of fluff. The plum color is next level, is the special colorway for friend Carmen, who owns a yarn story and Walcott yarn. The friend that we've made a collaboration with fluff hi carmen who's hi. spending a lot of time well she three is, weeks uh almost all of december so maybe four weeks yeah in germany She's sending us her. all the pretty photos of like the winter there and like the holiday markets and it's just like oh yeah the christmas <sighs> markets and then she went to strasbourg Strasbourg, Stras Strasbourg, Strasbourg in French, Berg? Strasbourg, I don't know, Strasbourg Sal would be Salzburg, anyway, Salisbury, Strasbourg? Salisbury, well, no, no, <laughs> uh, Sainsbury, <laughs> so she went to Strasbourg in French, in French, wow, wow, in France, um, and then, but then she, her, she was doing a, a kind of a live story with the live captioning and it said instead of Strasbourg it, re it wrote Chicago and I was like no. why are you in Chicago when you were in Germany yesterday 
Uh, but it was stressful. Okay, anyway, go ahead. By the way, we were... Hi, Carmen. Hi. We were in Toronto earlier this month to um, do a trunk show at UNIT in Toronto. And during the weekend, we were there. We've been able to meet a lot of you. So, hi, guys. It was super fun. It was actually our first trunk show. And while we were there, there was a Christmas market in the distillery district. So, yes. we managed to go to that one. It was cute, but it's no... Strasbourg. It's no Strasbourg. But it was fun to go to a holiday market. <laughs> okay, so back to Plump It Up. Plump, plump It Up. By the way, uh, my first hashtag for the shawl for Instagram was just Plump It Up. I had to add the Plump It Up shawl because if you follow Plump It Up, it's just slip fillers and like. So no. Like, <laughs> I have nothing against that. Like, loving those lips, but it's no shawls. Okay, so next level to Skein. <laughs> I finished it, uh, honestly, like three days max. Um, I I only had one skin of the next level in Plump. So it was a thing until here. And then she sent me the missing skin and I knit the whole thing in a day. Yeah, like the all. remaining, yeah. Um, so that's next level. I want to put it oh, on. Okay. <laughs> I want to put it on. The, the main color... Um, it's next level, and I've mixed it up with glacial death, and that blue is dabadi, dabada. <laughs> it's a really nice blue with it, and I'm just really pleased with it. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, there's someone that works with Carmen Kaylee. She has a podcast with Carmen, and they went on a hike. Her and her then boyfriend. <laughs> and he proposed to her while she was wearing this shawl. Not this one, but she made the same one. And was like, oh, oh. it's my way of giving back. <laughs> in in the English countryside, yes. as I said um, in their life, like getting engaged in the English countryside is uh, all the rage right now, right? <laughs> um, that's a great, well, not anymore because we're December 20th today but it would have been a great last minute gift idea because three days to do it if you have yeah. plump, plump playing around or fluff mix and match quite easy to do yeah and it is quite squishy. squishy so these are this one and the officer sweater you're wearing are my two pattern release of december and now for something that was uh finished but not by us um, we present. It's huge. It's and it's huge. nice. It's nice. It's the... <laughs> <laughs> it's really huge. Hi. We've never filled the whole camera like that. <laughs> it's the Seriously Holy shawl um, by Stephen West. This sample was knitted um, by us, uh, not by us, for us by Marise. Thank you, Marise. Uh, she used, or well, we sent her <laughs> uh, some of our British for ply in Chris's pine green for this one. And then the Surrey is fluff in so, mist. In mist. So this shawl takes. Two skeins of British for ply and then four skeins of fluff. Uh, if you want to knit the entire one, uh, three skeins can get you like almost to the end, but um, you would yep. be missing a, a part. I don't, I don't see the camera anymore. <laughs> Where are you? You're fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, very nice squishy yeah. shawl. Super huge. Uh, it's brioche all the way. We really wanted to have that sample made out of fluff because the inside of brioche and fluff is. Yeah. So well, and then it's fun. kind of also reversible. Like yeah. if you put it on the other side, you will have the negative looks, effect of. Yeah, a little bit more fluff showing than the um, fingering. Um, we have kits on the website for that. So. Including this one and other ones, and I'll. It, it is huge. Yeah, it's huge. Um, you create the words schlanket, which is the right yeah. 
word for it and but it's a very um it's a very fun like we i haven't knitted it personally but it's one of the ones that i would like to knit because it you get into a rhythm with the brioche um mm -hmm. very fun and then here and there you have those massive i don't know if we can i have one little holes yes eyelets <laughs> little like highlights flowers here. that yeah um so it's massive increases just create like a bunch i think it's eight increases and then and then bloom so like it's very it's like it's a fun because there's it's a fun knit to do brioche there's brioche knitters that just do like all brioche things and i feel like this would be their stockinette of yeah brioche so um Quite fun. that was our last well we have other samples that I came that came back, but we'll um, show them in due time. And oh, next is that. Oh, those kits are for. They're getting another no. sample. Yeah, no. another sample yes. are being taken photos yes. tomorrow. There you go. So, sur seriously, holy, Her. because it's Surrey, you know. And it's, it's a serious. Fun. It's knitting. Seriously. There you go. Last thing, this is you a crochet a project. Oh, yes, yeah. you have a little... Uh, that's a, that, this is a crochet project. Yeah. That's Post a gift from my mom. <laughs> um, last year, she sent me two elves uh, made out of crochet and uh, roving. Just roving, you don't say anything. Anyway. Um, so this year... Hold on this one. <laughs> she sent me two other little characters. You have a little Santa. So all of our all of this is crochet and the beard and the little um, stash, um, mustache. mustache. I was like, "What's the real one?" There's a little wooden bead, wood wooden nose bead. Oh yeah, here. Pretty and nice. I have one that feels like it's a crossover between Christmas and Beauty and the Beast. He's a little <laughs> candle. They are adorable, and I have like a little flat surface. I'll have to ask. I'm not sure if she uses a pattern or a, just like a board because she's really creative in crochet, which is something I'm unable to do crochet. <laughs> but these are really cute characters. They're joining our little elves from last yeah. year. So little, yeah, maybe we can, um, if she has a pattern, you can ask her and then before you publish, you can put the link. What it is, what it yeah. is. But I really like that it's a mix, like the roving. Like well, I wouldn't have it, done the little... Is it roving or yeah. it's just like... She's into felting right now. Okay. So this is how she did it. That's why it's like sort of attached to it because she's... Oh, she needle felted She murdered it, it to, to that. <laughs> <laughs> attached it. Needle felting. We have to talk about it next next podcast. Are you going to do it? Well, yes. Yay! Well, not... The yes. whole thing I got you. Yeah, the thing you got okay. me. Yes. Yay. I'll do it next podcast. I've been um, a ray. And so, I bought a yeah, little felting Ray. kit. But for him. Hold on to your um, gnomes. horses or gnomes, gnomes. or whatever. No, because he's not doing horses. I'm getting into needle felting, apparently. I bought him one kit at Unit. He's he's the enabler. Yes, I am. Okay, so... Okay, so... Okay. <laughs> I'm like, we've, we've talked about everything we finished. Yes. So we can... What Move are we on working to, on? Yep. What I'm not working on. Nothing. <laughs> oh, by the way, I've <laughs> created a monster. Someone else joined TikTok. Hi. No? Yes, you have. Oh, yes. Yeah, someone, someone followed me because they found my name because I... Unlike you, oh, no, I'm user seventy five one zero three. Yeah, blah, yeah. Blah. I switched my name because you know I switched my name because I was trying to send him videos, and I was still user with a bunch of numbers, but I was trying to send you videos um, that I found funny, but I was sending them to myself because <laughs> there were two user whatever in my yes. list, um, but I wouldn't know which one was which. So I changed mine and then I just uh, had my first follow like today of like a random person um, or not random. Like if you are watching Hi. and it's you, sorry, I call you. Random. <laughs> I know. I just, yeah.
So it's sad saying that because you had your hair like that, and there's a guy on yeah. TikTok that yeah. are doing videos of how it was on MySpace back then, and you just had the hemo. Uh, oh yeah. Shut. I'll have uh, to send you that one now that no, you're on it. It's not funny. <laughs> it's probably not funny. It's not, but it's fun. Um, I'm one of the people who's lucky enough to have joined the Wolden's and Nash Advent Calendar, where you are knitting socks, and you have one stripe per day to knit. And this is my kind of advent. <laughs> it doesn't take too much pressure out of you. You just do like four or five, six rows per, and then you're done to the next day. I'm still behind. But I've managed to do like the first 20, no, wait, 20, the first 15 days back to back without, like with my coffee in the morning, doing my stitches. And this is what it looks so far. But yeah, I think the problem, well, it's not a problem. It's not nothing against the makers of those because um, I had one two years ago or last year. Is that for men's feet? No, no, no. I think, look, squeeze it. No, there's there's, there's enough. more yarn. There's, no, there's enough. even more. I think there is more than no. 24. Uh... Yes, there's more than 24. But you're gonna re you're not gonna be done at twenty four. Oh no, I don't. I didn't well, read the instructions. No, but, I don't think I have to be done by. The but way. I think but, it's it's not that. But on day twenty four, you're not gonna have a sock. Is what no, I'm saying. No, 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 no. No, I think I'm. Am I wearing? I am wearing. <laughs> there you go. Look my ugly shoes. Okay. Hey, you got it for your birthday. Um. <laughs> it's not bad. So. How can I show it best? There you go. So this was... I can't remember the name. I'm sorry. Um, but it was an Advent one. And it's one of the ones that I started with Toe Up. Four years ago. Two years ago? Two years ago. During the pandemic? <laughs> So like 20 days got me here, like to my heel. And then it's, a, yeah. it's a Dutch heel. And then you still like at 24, I was here, but then, so yes, I had more, but what I'm saying is that the 20, yeah, I'm 24th or 17, 25th. I've placed my waist yarn at day 17 to do my, uh, heel, which usually a, a socks that There's, is. They look nice. They, the colors, and I'll just say the base, it's a custom base to Wolves and Nosh, and it is incredible. The 100% superwash Targi. It is uh, thicker than usual yarn, uh, usual usual sock yarn, then you're like uh, 80 20 superwash merino and 20% nylon. Um, they always feel a little bit too thin for me, so I prefer like BFL or Targi is just incredible. And being able to do like a whole skein, a whole stripe per day, because if you see there's a mini coming with it, so the 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 toe is from a mini, and then you start your collar, and in between they're the same color as the toe. So from the bag, you could stop because you will see that the yarn coming out of it. Yeah. will be the gray the, in the between in the middle the thing is very ingenious yeah and the, it's sort of uh there's um because mine class. i kind of like you knew which i knew was like I, I had seen all of the colors so this is really cool but yeah i think well doing less stitches and like smaller feet you could probably get a sock or even a sock by the 25th yeah by the 25th but for my humongous... Oh, yeah. Uh, we are the last size in yeah. sock pattern, usually. Yeah. Well, yeah. You are. But, I am. like, for example, Andrea's... Uh, I cast on... Tessellato. I did the... Well, these are one. Andrea's... The RK Everyday? The RK oh. Everyday Sock. And I cast on, I think, the last uh, size, which was 78 stitches. Yeah. So they're like they're nice, but yeah. So I think like here at the heel was the twentieth, twentieth stripe. So 
I was nowhere near done. I'll see. I didn't honestly look if it's supposed to be 24 stripes and then you're done. My guess is not because no, it's not. This just it's feels not... heavy. And then you're done. It's probably because there's 24 colors, and that was the case with this one. But that was 24 colors. But then the colors start repeating themselves after that. Oh, so you think they would repeat? Yeah, you'll get that color back again oh, after your good. last. I'm good with that. Um, there is a pattern coming not, with it. I'm, I'm just not doing it. I know if you're following uh, needles that are already Ray is doing it. Uh, it's uh, he's doing top down, and I'm doing uh, well cuff down. And I'm doing toe up. So we're gonna have similar but opposite socks at the same time. And I'm just Ray is the only. Um, true, I don't know, <laughs> Sorry. knits socks the right way, um, not toe up. Saying that while I would like I to say knit... talk to the hand, but I'll say talk to the sock because my I hand have... is covered. <laughs> Saying that while I have a toe sock up that sock. was so knitted toe up, <laughs> bitch, please. Uh, yeah, Sorry. so I'll just say next year. Michelle, I'm buying one again. I'm <laughs> loving it. It is because last year I tried to do the Olan one, and I love Olan and I love the result of it. But doing a whole clue every day for 24 days, and it turned out to be a blanket. It was way too much for my own um, knitting time, and yeah. but this feels more of a doable, less pressure thing. And I'll have a new pair of socks out of it. It's been a while since I had since I had one, so. I could crank you one if I can go back that to is cranking. True. That is true. But I, I enjoyed knitting them. Oh, and yeah. at oh, first I... I cast on both toes and then I thought I was going to do in tandem, both on the same needles. Yeah, two at a time. Yeah. I tried it's two turns two... and I was like, nope. It tat. We tat. call it T A A T. Two at a time. It's a thing. Stop trying to make tat happen. No, it's a thing. It's not happening. Ask people. Comment in the, say it in the comments below. Two at a time, tat. No. Tat. Yes. <laughs> your tat. <laughs> your your tat. Uh, and then I realized that we own a yarn store, so I could actually just like find another needle set. So I just went with that and just like, yeah. Um, he doesn't easier. steal them. He still buys them, but um, at a much lower rate. Do I? Do I? I do. Okay. Yes, because you still pay for them. That's true. <laughs> One way or not. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so loving them. Last whip. I'm working, and it's going to be a hard one to show, but uh, Mist that we've shown earlier is a color that I quite love. I've decided to. I don't. Oh, maybe I'll. Well, you don't need. No. I'm not going to do fluff on fluff on fluff. Too much fluff. Yeah. I've decided to do a fluffy cardigan using two strand of fluff, so I get a bulky weight. Ooh, such a gentleman. Um, so I get two strands of fluff. It's a bottom cardigan that you then seam together. I have decided to do a little whoop. So it is straight until here. And then you will have kind of a v-neck, but not really an open neck, maybe more. Yeah. Um, I'm using this one as my idea behind it is I want to use fluff using two strand to get a quick cardigan, but the whole band here is going to be a two, in two inch band using only fluff in a single strand. So that I'll be able to do my whole stockinette stitch here and then attach it back. So it's going to be a double, um, a folded M. And then makes... Why don't you just double knit it? Uh, I could too, but then it's, the other one is sort of quick too. Yeah. We'll see. I'm, I'm just still figuring that part out. Um, and I'm currently working on my first sleeve. I did one before it's just like parts. <laughs> <laughs> I did one before, um, but I used the same um, needles that are falling down. Ooh, that's a look. Okay. Uh, 
I use the same needle for my stockinette part, but my gauge change between really a small circumference knitted in the round versus a large circumference knitted flat, and it ended up being so not a circumference. Um, yeah. <laughs> My gauge yes. changed between knitting flat and knitting well, it around. Normally, like when you need, I when you need when you need sleeves, uh, when I knit sleeves, I always go up a needle size. That's like, what I've been doing here. Yeah, that I didn't do here. Because so this one ended up being too short and too um, small. Small, smooth. So now I've went small. up for this one, but I'll do. There's a sort of like a sleeve cap here, and I'll do this part uh, with my original thing here no you can use the same needle. you think yeah. I, I i just don't want to make sure i'm not having too much fabric and have a poofy <laughs> poofy poofy so we'll see but this yeah. i i'm like i realized at the end i was too small and i'm like eh, this was like two nights maybe three nights so I'm, i don't mind re redoing it again no it's that's that's what designs are for like yeah it's, I think nothing that. happens on the first try this could be like a it's not. A I'm ready for the runway. Don't you think? No, it's like, not a look. No, uh, but I'm loving the color though. It's quite. Yes. Um, this was like less than four skein total, like the whole thing here. So I'm gonna be able to do it between six or seven is my guess, maximum eight. Yeah. Okay. And I'll. That's the bit of my first one that I want to have um, buttons. Oh. I know, but I think no, if it's please. lower here, I think no. it's going to be nice. No. no, I've seen some of... No. I know, but I think it's going to be nice. No. no. I'm going to try it. No. I know, but I think it's going to be nice. <laughs> um, yes. It I is, have... It is it's, hard. It's, uh, maybe it's irrational, but I have something against button bands on knitted stuff. Because you always end up with the buttons, like pulling on the band on the other side and then it just does like but do you, that's the thing there's though, before we were knitters we were wearing those kind of things all the time and but not there's carrying... no but there's reinforcement that yeah that's it that's that, a... because it's machine machi machine 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 it's machine made and there's reinforcements that doesn't like so maybe we can find a way to have those reinforcements in the design maybe i can help you and maybe we can uh, you can give me like all of the money from the patterns because I have found a way to uh, no. <laughs> see how he treats me on my birthday week. Um, but we'll find a way so that the button that, doesn't pull. That's the why I'm thinking of hole. if the button has to go through two holes, because if I'm doing the folded thing, I need to no, do two holes. It's not going to work. I think it is. No, I think it is. I guarantee you it's not going to work. I'm not, I, I'm not satisfied with your guarantee. I'm going to send your product back. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, I still have to try it. I'm pretty happy with what I'm going. I don't listen to uh, <laughs> Debbie Downer here when I do those kind of things. Even now, I'm loving the little unfinished look. Yes. Uh, but well, let's just take we'll, a second we'll to do we'll like the color. It. it is. It looks nice. Yeah. Like, well, you can remove the sleeves and just have like a little. No, I love the sleeve. <laughs> I love the half sleeve. Okay. Um, Don't you? If I was on. in my twenties, I would go to a club like that. <laughs> no, you would. I wouldn't. <laughs> and you're not in your twenties. No. <laughs> so much lies. <laughs> so many lies. <sighs> um, what else? Okay, we need to move on now. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing we finished, and as you can see, it's uh, not, <laughs> not finished. Not worked finished. on. Working on. Yes. It's... I'm it, not sure it's going to work. It needs a lot of work. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Outfit change. No, I didn't. I was always this cute. Um, what's oh hi Lola hi. <laughs> what's uh, new in the shop? Not yet, but um, it's a tradition that we started last year. So is it really tradition? But because it's the second year, it's a tradition. It should. It it will become. It will become a tradition. Um, Instead of doing the traditional Boxing Week or Boxing Day, because 
let's face it now it's a boxing week um has it stopped since black friday we don't know uh but instead of doing that we decided uh last year to do something that we called collab week because we love collaborations with other makers we love to present um and then introduce new products that we love to other people and we um, love to be inspired by other people in a we love to be able to inspire them by just being let's do something with a date and see if it's yeah. it can come out of it so this year um last year we had Heidenheimer, we had Lolubies, we had Pearl and uh, Hank. Pearl and Hank, and then oh. um, what was the fourth one? Oh, Walcott Yards. Yes. Yes. So the that was um, last year's collab week. Um, it was very successful, so we decided to do it another year. Um, very successful and also we loved doing it like what one of the things that we never do something that we don't love doing even if it's um, successful we love doing collab week and finding new makers or finding new projects to do with those makers um, so this this year there's this two year, new ones two new ones and one old one which... one old one uh, we have only three this year um, but I have an idea for the fourth one and I haven't talked to him about it. So stay tuned. Um, it's going to come, but <laughs> late to the game. Don't, don't do the, the, don't sigh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, next week, um, it's going to be Christmas on Monday and then on Tuesday we'll have our first um well we'll have for three days collab week it's december 27 28 and 29 uh, isn't it 26 nope oh well i had i had plans for the 26th uh for the 29th anyway <laughs> next week after christmas in our newsletter that's where everything's gonna happen we're going to have three collabs. We have one with Heidenheimer again, which is coming back this year. And then the two new ones are Woodlands and Nosh. Ah, I don't know what it's going to be. Is it going to be a oh. self? No. Oh. Oh. And then Lola's <laughs> like, what Whoa. are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand, do you? And then um, the other new one, so the third collab, is Moondrake uh, Yarn Co. Or Moondrake Co. I'm not sure. Moondrake Co. Rachel. Um, so we have... Fellow Canadian who moved to the States not so long ago. Yeah. So we have a little Yarny collaboration there um, as well. It's very fun. Um, just like last time, uh, do subscribe to your newsletter. On the 22nd, we are doing a little teaser of what's coming up next week. So pretty much what we did right now. And yeah. on every day of every collab day, uh, the, each product will go on sale around noon Eastern time. But you will receive a newsletter earlier that will give you a direct click so that you are ready to go directly yeah. to the product page. And you will see the product before it goes on sale. Because we will unveil it on Instagram and on the website at noon, but you will get a little preview before. If you're first. subscribed to the newsletter. Yeah. And um, you might get a chance to snag it just a little um, quicker, quicker this way. Uh, this way. We have, um, it's like a limited edition collaboration. So each, we're yeah. not um, going to have other quantities. It's not a product that's going to, Lola. <laughs> she giving kisses. Uh, we're not she wants gonna... one. <laughs> How do I get that secret link? Well, Lola, you just subscribed to your newsletter. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> Lola is telling you. Yeah. So um, go in the description down below, subscribe to the newsletter from the link that's there, and you'll get all of the previews that way. So collab week, apparently 
27th, 28th, and 29th. Yes, I yes. thought it was 26th. Nope. Oh, okay. I did a uh, little thing today, so. Oh, okay. Cool. And cool. Well, cool. 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 Two last things, because our <laughs> battery is dying right now. We have kits online yeah. for the shop. What? Tanya said earlier, like, um, you know when uh, maybe podcasters say, I just recharged my camera battery, my camera battery, and I know. we wouldn't have known if you hadn't told us. I know. You just told us that I the told battery... that, but Lola is hungry. <laughs> the battery is dying. It's time to say goodbye. It's time I feel to like say goodbye. It's, <laughs> it's a song, right? She's like just showing her butt now. Oh. Okay. Um, we have kits. For the... Officer sweater. Yeah. I'm pretty... Pretty. Pretty. It's pretty. It, they're pretty. We they're have... Pretty kits. A total of eight different kits, including the original. We have... Yeah. Uh, there's a really nice holiday one, a red and white, that yeah, Sharon Cinnamon from Co the Mo Modern Skin made. It is... Cinnamon Cold Rain. And it's... Oh, it's great. There's the Shadow in Cold Rain that quite Michael nice made. Too. Oh, uh, yeah. Piece for piece That's crafting. the other one I would have yeah. made. That pretty much black and white. Um, and then we have like a bunch of them. If you want to see another color combination, send us an email. We'll just create a kit for you. And then... This we... is... I've received my sample back from Lynn Lina <laughs> magazine. Uh, this is the Nightfall sweater that is published in their current issue. Issue it's 19? Only 19. It's only available in the magazine for now this is using our british for plies we have kits for this one we've added more quantities of every colors and yeah. there's I, three other i ones. think by the time you're telling this this kit is Sorry. Um, sold out we'll the original kit is sold out we'll have more in the new year but we have three other kits um and again if you want to have other combinations just send us an email uh, with the contact form that's in the About Us section on the website. And really fun knit. Only two colors per row. Details on the cuff and on the... Hem. Hem. Why is it a hem and not a cuff? A body cuff? A body cuff. <laughs> <laughs> Make body cuff happen. Oh, so I mean... we've added kits. Um, the photos. Thank you so much, actually, for the really nice reception over this design. I've been overwhelmed with such a positive response. I felt really. We had like we had the magazine on pre-order, and it's the f we had like a bunch of copies that you needed to sign. It's the first time that we sold like this many of a magazine. And I love um, I've drew a little fox in all of them, and I just felt like I'm an author again. <laughs> just... yeah. I'm, a book, I'm, I'm a, at a book fair. I'm at a book fair. I'm at home and I'm signing books. It's a book fair. Cool. Well, well cool. 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 We haven't died. The battery is still available. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Tanya. We won't need to recharge the battery. No, but uh, we'll need to recharge our personal batteries. But oh my happy, God. Yes. Holidays, happy holidays, everyone. See you in the new year in the yarn shop. Happy holidays. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas time. time. Cheers. <laughs>